just a little bit of background about myself, and I think there's some pieces of information that are pretty crucial to know going into what you're seeing here. Um, and that's that I have a long history of being an athlete and just being really physical, uh, starting with playing soccer when I was seven years old, and it's, it hasn't stopped since then. Um, I've been playing Ultimate Frisbee for the last 15 years, and this work sort of comes out of, of a vocabulary of movement, and specifically physical movement, and even more specifically, athletically physical movement. So, um, it's a language that's sort of rooted in your body, and it sort of speaks through movement itself. And so part of what you're seeing here is, a, is a, an attempt to speak to you through your own body, um, so that when you walk through here, you sort of relate to these works on a bodily scale. Um, and also, it's a, infusing that language of physicality with the language of drawing, because these are drawings. Um, and when you have a sort of practice in athletics and in pushing your body, um, you're sort of always figuring out what can you do, how far can you go, how long can you go. So think about like, those times in the gym when you're you know, doing something and you get to a point where, okay, I'm tired, or oh, maybe I can go a little bit longer, and you're sort of starting to play with that line of um, what are you capable of, what can you do. Um, so that's sort of pushing myself uh, in terms of bodily limits has always been present, or is present in this work. Um, in this work particularly, I'm also trying to push materials to their limits. I'm trying to see how much line can I put down before it stops becoming line and becomes field. So I'm sort of trying to play with that boundary a little bit. Um, so with this work here, uh, oh, so this is, this is called wall sit relocation, and that's more of a description of, um, I did a wall sit here against this wall and erased it from this field of charcoal and then sort of replaced it over on this wall. And uh, whereas in other past works, I sort of framed my work around how much can I do um, in a certain period of time, or how far can my body go until I reach exhaustion. Whereas this work wasn't framed in quite the same way, it was how far can I press the materials until they're exhausted. And so I set up a different structure where it's more like a workout structure where you do something and then you take a break and you rest and recover and then you do it again and then you take a break. So here, after covering the wall of charcoal, I did, for one hour I did wall sits where I did two minutes wall sit and a three minute break. Do a wall sit again for two minutes, three minute break. Those of you who haven't seen it, a wall sit is when you just sit against the wall, flat surface with your legs at an angle like this. And you sort of you feel it here in your quads and especially closer to the knee. And this is also a really good exercise, by the way, if you have bad knees. And it's uh, one of the first things that doctors tell you when you've had knee surgery about getting your, um, your knees back. So if you have a bad knee or bad, bad knees or bad backs, do wall sits. 